Turcaso. This is a special Turcaso Media Presents Animals Matter. And of course, I have my mainstay show, Humanity Matters. Well, you can't see her right now, but you'll have seen a clip of her. And this cat that I'm holding here is... I consider her my dog. Now, I know a lot of you are going to laugh at that, feel upset about it, maybe. Say people take too much care of their animals, what have you. But guess what? If humanity matters, and it does, so do our animals matter. Well, I've had animals throughout my life since about the age of five. My first cat was the original baby girl. And I had her, I guess about five years old. And I can't remember when she passed, can't remember how old I was. But since then, over the years, over the last, I guess, 30 years, I lost the original baby girl, TJ, Ebony, Princess, Cassie, Lucky Star, I'm actually Mickey Bodine, and Lucky Star. I also lost tadpoles, hamsters, and fish. And they were and forever will be a part of my life. I confess, I don't remember the names of the hamsters. I think one, I can't actually remember, but I know one of the fish was named Bubbles. I can't remember the tadpoles. But I can remember every one of my cats and my dog Cassie, their names. And so, back in 2004, I started doing Humanity Matters. And then after a while, Mickey Bodine died in 2006. But when he died, I decided that I was going to put his name in the credits. I was going to have him as one of the people I dedicate the show to. If you watch my show, you know that I always dedicate the show to those who have passed. And I always have Mickey Bodine. Then in 2007, Misty's biological daughter, Lucky Star, died. And I added her name. Cat that's on my lap, Misty, has to go to heaven. She actually looks better than she is. Right now, she has renal failure. Both of her kidneys are in really bad shape. And they discovered a tumor. Misty has not successfully eaten any substantial, substantial amounts of food for about six days. We had her in the vet, had two opinions. But to keep her going would only be leaving her in pain. And I love my kids. I love my cats. And I don't care. Honestly, I'm not trying to be arrogant. I'm not trying to be rude. But frankly, I don't care if people think it's wrong for me to say she's my child. I don't have any human children. And my animals throughout my life since the age of five have done just as much for me as I have done for them. So, these are my children. But the problem is, I don't want to put Misty to sleep. I don't. I feel personally like I'm giving up on her. I think it's a tragic decision that we have to make. But I would rather have her go to heaven. She's getting upset, as you can see or hear. I would rather her go to heaven and not be in pain than to suffer. It's going to be very hard. What happens within the next 24 hours, Misty's name is going to be added to that list. 
And let me just say this to everyone who ever watches my show, now or in the future. I have no plans for taking off Mickey Bodine's name and the year that he passed. No plans for taking off Lucky Star's name. And no plans for taking off Misty's name. You see, that's not just a show of love and respect for my cats or my dog or what have you. It's more than that. It's a way for me to remember the day they passed. Unfortunately, I don't really remember any of their day of births. But at least I can know when they passed. So then the question becomes, why should you be watching this program? Why should this matter to you? It's not your cat. And you may think that it's ridiculous. Well, I want you to ask yourself a question. A very, very simple one. If we don't have compassion for our animals, if we don't show them the love that many of them show us. And if we don't care about what happens to them, how are we ever going to care about humanity? How are we ever going to care about our sisters? How are we ever going to care about our brothers? About our other family members? <coughs> and isn't, just a, isn't it just a wee bit arrogant that humanity and the human being thinks that they're so much import, more important than animals. If we think about it, we may be the most so-called intelligent being. We may be able to do things that no other creature on this planet can do, like build airplanes and build things and all these technologies. But you know what? We're also the most inhumane creature that ever walked the earth. That ought to give you some pause to think about that. 